All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World, and I'm Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video that somebody sent me of the Island Boys. Listen, I've told you guys before not to send me bullshit like this, but we're going to react to the Island Boys. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you go over to the description, hit the subscribe button, like the video, hit the bell, and most importantly, leave me a comment down below. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you go over and do that at the Hater World. And uh, to all my day ones, I salute. You guys already know nothing but love. Because at the end of the day, the world keeps spinning as my revolver keeps turning. So I'm going to do what I have to do regardless. Uh, so check this out. Like I said before, our website is up. Uh, www.thehaterworld.com. Very simple. Everything is at the Hater World. Make sure and go uh, cop some fly gear. Uh, and we do got a lot of giveaways coming. Uh, my next video will be actually... Talking to you guys about the giveaway, we got a bunch of stuff that we're going to be doing as far as far as part of the giveaway, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But with no further ado, let's get into this uh, Island Boy reaction and get you guys a Southsiders reaction. Let's go. Don't get rid of baby lows. Let me tell you something. This is my brother. I'll never get rid of it. We're not going to play the entire video because I don't care for these Island Boys. We're going to pause it in between. But uh, look at this, uh, Baby Lowe's is his name. He looks like a stepchild that just got punished. That's pretty fucked up, you know. But let's go. Lowe's, I love him. I swear to God, I love him. I love you too, Dad. Did he say I love you too, gang, or I love you too, Dad? Fridge out, and then Fly, Fly came in and he snuck me. Like, come on, bro. So they jumped him. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the Island Boys, they've had like three or four different Island Boy members. They all get like a palm tree tatted somewhere on their face. And uh, two months later, they're kicked out of the group. You know, pretty fucked up. I don't know what the Island Boys got to offer anybody, you know, as far as like a record label or anything like that. If they can offer anything, it's probably just some uh, clout you know, for being next to them and then being in your videos. But other than that, I don't know what else they got to offer. But let's go. <clears throat> hey, listen, my, my, wrist, my wrist hurt. I don't know why it hurts. You're doing too much of this, my boy. You need to stop. A little too much. Use the other hand. But nowadays they sell all these toys you can buy. So uh, look into that, my boy. Let's go. <laughs> loser. That fool said, go back to your Motel 6. Motherfuckers forget where they come from real quick. Just a year ago, these fools were bums. You know, were nobodies. Tell them to thank DJ Academics for the clout. Now they're signed or whatever the whatever they got going on, and now they feel they're better than people. You know, they could lose their, their stardom like this and then go back to the hood and then they'll be bums too. So let this be a message. If you ever make it, don't forget where you come from. You know, uh, don't shit on the little guys just because you already made it. Every dog has his day. Eventually somebody else uh, around you will come up. So quit shitting on people. Let's go. It's looking pretty. I hope he didn't tell neither. Look at his teeth. I hope he didn't we tell. Heard he was talking to police. We heard it clearly. We heard that he was talking. He was talking. He was woofing to the police. Yeah. I don't know what to say right here. Motherfucker, you're telling the cops. You're making this video telling the cops what happened. The other guy don't even have to rat. The DA can pick up charges just on this video alone. You see how stupid and idiotic people can be sometimes? Just to get the public's uh, acknowledgement? Fuck what everybody's thinking, bro. Now you're telling me that your freedom isn't valued as much because you just want to show off to everybody on the internet? This is today's society, and it's sad. It really is sad. But let's go. My wrist hurt. My wrist hurt. Hey, y'all tell him to go live tonight and show where he's gonna be at. Y'all tell him to go live tonight and show where he's gonna be at. Hey, buddy, hey, buddy, gonna be in the Motel 6. Uh... These guys are sad. These guys are sad. That's not how you conduct yourself 
you know, I know they're young and they don't really know, but these guys were bums just a year ago. And from what I hear, and I don't like to speak on he say, she say, I like to give you guys facts and just give you guys my thoughts. But from what I heard, none of the stuff that they own is actually owned by them. Which really means nothing to me and shouldn't mean nothing to you guys. But it's just the point that he's laughing at somebody for a Motel 6. There's people out there that can't even afford a Motel 6, my boy. So whether it be a Motel 6 or whether it be your girl's pad, it don't matter. It's a roof. But let's go. <laughs> hey, buddy's an L, you feel me? It's bitch fuck other niggas too. Niggas hiding in the bushes. You be hiding, kid. You was hiding in the bushes. Where are you from too? Hey, we wanted around two after you was out in the bushes. We got a video. You going to try to go inside someone's house, family? <laughs> you trying to run in someone's house? And listen, hey, fuck that. Tell you ourselves. Hey, look, look, look. We got bond money for a fucking. <laughs> hey, look. Lames fighting lames, retards fighting retards, kids arguing with kids. Let's go. This wasn't our property. Listen, we don't want to do too much woofing and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, go ask where the other niggas at. They're all at motels. Motel boys. Motel 6. Motel 6. Motel 6. Y'all stay in motels. Hey. You know, I don't really like to wish nobody's downfall. I don't really like to wish death on nobody. You know, but it's going to be a funny thing when these these guys ain't got nothing left. Hopefully it never happens. Hopefully they can succeed throughout life until they die. You know, but sometimes that's not the case. And when reality and karma hits them, uh, it'll be a big slap in the face. Hopefully it don't. But like I said, when it does, and they're humbled down a little bit, they're going to feel very stupid. You know, but let's go. Talking to that little nigga with the, that starts with the V t today, and he goes like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the other unit today." This mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. y'all niggas so down bad, broke ass niggas. Y'all yeah, niggas broke. Man. Man, like, I'm gonna fake ass niggas, fake ass niggas. Rich, hey! <laughs> Sad. Who in their right mind would be afraid of these clowns? You know. Hey, but you do be breaking your wrist sometimes when you fight if you don't know if you don't know how to swing them. I had a homeboy once that fucked up his entire hand from beating somebody up. I mean, he probably got beat worse than the other guy just because his hand got beat, you know, or broken or whatever the fuck. You know. But these guys are sad. These guys are very sad. Let's go. My shit hurt. I heard he was talking to Troll. <laughs> we don't fuck with Troll. We don't fuck with Troll. We don't, we, don't, we don't do that police ass shit. What? Fuck nigga. Fuck nigga, I'm too rich nigga. Ain't one of these a rat? Ain't one of these brothers a rat? Somebody leave the leave me the info down below in the comments, but I know one of these uh one of these guys was a rat before. And this guy's saying the N-word, I'm not sure if they're black or not, but I mean that's neither here nor there nowadays. Everybody is uh saying it. And Swifty Blue's the leader. But let's go. Fuck nigga, we don't talk to you, fuck nigga. Fuck nigga, we don't talk to you, fuck nigga. I don't talk to you, fuck nigga. Fuck nigga. Too much TV, too much internet. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, guys, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Imagine talking to a phone and acting like this. That's sort of embarrassing. I don't know what else to say about these guys. Let's give it a few more minutes and and call it a video because there's really nothing much for me to hear. Uh, nothing much here for me to react to. Let's go. Talk too much though. 
You don't want to talk too much, but he already gave you guys the entire story. What a fucking clown. I, th I think it'd be a good five Soldier Boy versus these guys. It's just because the way they both talk. You know, but I think Soldier Boy will fuck these guys up. All right, but other than that, I'm going to end it right here. I don't know what else to say. These guys are fucking clowns, pathetic. These guys are the real losers. They don't know how to conduct themselves like men, like young kids, like entrepreneurs, like business guys, like rappers. They conduct themselves like a bunch of fucking clowns. They, know, they need to learn how to be humble. But other than that, who gives a shit? Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go over at The Hater World. Make sure you hit the website at The Hater World. Make sure you... Uh, Hit the like button, hit the bell. We're dropping content uh, probably daily now. Once we hit that 10K uh, subscribers, we're going to take this shit like a job seriously and give you guys some uh, out-of-this-world content. So just be ready for it. So other than that, I'm Blue Devil. This has been the South Side of Reaction. It's been the Hater World's production. And we out.